When I say genetic control, that's the belief that genes control our characters. When I say epigenetic control, almost sounds the same, but epi means above. So when I say epigenetic control, literally it's control above the genes. And this is what we now recognize that the environment, and very specifically our perception of the environment, changes our genetic activity. So that means, well wait, that's not a victim because I can change my environment, I can change my perception, and all of a sudden if I can do that, then I can control my genes. Well, we're going from victim to mastery. Every human, and this is a fact, every human first seven years is, uh, is download a hypnosis. The brain of a, a child under seven is in a lower vibrational frequency. When you put wires on a, a person's head, you read electroencephalograph, reading brain activity. A child below seven has a lower vibration than consciousness. It's called theta. Theta is imagination. Oh, that's how kids play a, a tea party with mud pies. But to them, it's a real thing. A kid rides a broom, it's a horse. It's, that's theta, imagination. Theta is also hypnosis. And the idea is this, before you can become conscious, if you don't have any programs, what are you gonna be conscious of? It's sort of like I buy a new iPod and I take it out of the box and I push play and nothing happens and you think, oh my God, I spent all the money and the damn thing isn't working. And then some little seven-year-old kid comes up and says, well, you, mister, you, you didn't download any music. How are you going to play something? And I go, that's the same thing. Uh, it's like the brain is like the iPod. Consciousness is the screen where I can create. But if I don't have anything in the hard drive, I can't create. So nature makes the first seven years how, what kind of programs are required to live on this planet? I say, how do you get them? Theta is hypnosis. You just watch. You watch your parents, you watch your siblings, and your community, because you have to learn how many hundred thousand rules, think about it. Just to be a functional member of a family and a functional member of a community, there are rules. I got teach an infant these rules. I say, oh, you don't have to. First seven years, they just they observe it and just download it. And, and, and then I say, well, why is it relevant? Because this is the unfortunate fact, 95% of our life, this is a fact, comes from those programs in the subconscious. Every day, only about 5% of their life are you using conscious, which is creative. 5%? Look, this is not new. I mean, there's a famous book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And basically said, you come from a poor family and you could struggle your whole life and try to get rich, but you're not gonna make it. And if you come from a rich family, you could be stupid your whole life and make it. Not because it was thinking, but it was unconscious behavior that was downloaded from rich families into kids, uh, which is unconscious. So they're, they're making the right moves unconsciously. If they engage their conscious mind, then they look stupid, but it's unconscious. And that's the same thing with poor people. Poor people have beliefs from the family. Oh, you can't make it. Life's a struggle. Things are hard. Who do you think you are? And if that's the program you get, then 95% of the day, you will sabotage yourself. And that's why poor people stay poor and rich people stay rich, because of the programming. Well, you, you see, here's the problem. Seven years is programming. And I say, well, what program did you get when you were zero or, or one? You go, I have no idea what the hell the program was. I say, ah, 95% of your life is coming from the subconscious. Your life is a printout of your subconscious behavior. Oh, so you don't have to try and think about what happened. I just say, look at your life. The things you like that come into your life come in because you have a program that supports them. But anything you struggle with, work hard at, put a lot of effort into making it happen, why are you working so hard? Inevitably, you have a program that doesn't support that conclusion and you're trying to override the program. So uh, you don't need to do a lot of shrink and psychology stuff. You just look at your life and say, where am I struggling? Because wherever you're struggling, inevitably is a program in your subconscious that does not support that destination you've been looking for. I had the knowledge academically. It's like, oh my God, look at the research. What does it mean? I, I understood it from the level. And with all that knowledge, it didn't change my life. Uh, people read self-help books. I go, well, you read the book. You got a lot of knowledge. I say, is your life changed? No, but you got a lot of knowledge. And so here's the difference. The conscious mind uh, is creative and can learn in any number of ways. Read a self-help book, go to a lecture, listen to this program, and conscious mind's gonna get some awareness. And I go, yeah, but subconscious mind doesn't learn that way. I go, right, it doesn't. Subconscious mind learns in two fundamental ways, naturally. Hypnosis, which is the first seven years. And after age seven, how do you put new programs in? Repetition, practice.
You want to drive a car, you didn't learn, learn how by just getting in the seat and put the key in. You had to practice driving the car. You want to learn uh, the alphabet. How many times did you go from A to Z, uh, you know, try to go to A to Z before you can complete it? And once you completed it, you didn't have to go back and do it again. So two phases. You want to train the subconscious mind? Hypnosis? Uh, repetition. The, uh, I like the last one because there's a new phrase that's bandied about called fake it till you make it. Mm. Meaning if you're not a happy person, I say you want to be a happy person, then repeat all the time. I'm happy. I'm happy. I say, well, you don't look happy or anything. I say, no, I, who am I talking to? By repetition, I'm talking to subconscious. Okay. If subconscious gets I am happy and 95% of your life comes from that subconscious, there will be a point once the subconscious got I am happy, you don't have to say it again.